want to look at a team in Texas and Steve Sarkeesian recruiting update 2023. Uh, I don't have any experts with me, but we're just going to look down the list and see what they got. Cause obviously the big name is Arch Manning looking to keep guys like that uh, to keep a guy, Cedric Baxter, uh, you know, who's the number one running back in the class. Uh, they got the number one linebacker in Anthony Hill. They got the number one quarterback, who's the number one overall player, by the way, who committed back in June. Malik Muhammad uh, is a four-star athlete. Um, Derek Williams is a safety. Ryan Niblett, uh, Colton v- Vasek, uh, Darion Gillette uh, is an edge. And you go down the list. So they have actually four five-star athletes in the class. Uh, Then the rest are five or three stars. But it's enough points to get them a top five recruiting class and number three overall for 2023. And I think that, you know, Texas is building something with Sarkeesian. Uh, You know, I I think that – you know, it's an offensive league in the Big 12. You got an offensive mastermind in Sarkeesian. Thankful for what he did at Alabama. Uh, he brings it to Texas. Um, you know, they, these are players that you can see next year for Texas in 2023 possibly. And they still got to play Alabama again. You know, it's a home and home. So I'm excited to see if they present a challenge to Alabama. Um uh, I think that it's uh, really good where they are right now, considering they're fixing to join the SEC here in a couple of years, uh, in 2024, 2025. Um, you know, they're in a good position right now in terms of being a, a top-tier program uh, or working to build towards it at least. I, th- I think that historically they're a great program and um, – They've just kind of fallen off in recent years, but I think this recruiting class could put the icing on the cake for a coach like Steve Sarkeesian um, to make a statement, say, hey, we want to be here. We want to be with the big boys. We want to play big boy football. This is that class. This is your opportunity, Texas. You got Arch Manning. You got Anthony Hill. You got Cedric Baxter. Malik Muhammad, Jonte Cook, uh, and I could go on and on down the list, right? Uh, they also brought in a transfer in Ryan Sandburn, uh, who was a three-star punter uh, who came in from uh, Stanford. They also have commits of last year. Uh, that kind of helped them out, you know, uh, Texas is, you know, and I think they'll still have, um, I, I guess they still have Billingsley. I'm trying to think, I think it's a Jai Hall who's had the issues. Remember he transferred from Alabama, didn't see the field, cried on Twitter, you know, everything like that. Texas had a top five class last year. Um, uh, you know, but this class this year for Texas, I think, think could be something historic for the program. I think it could be historic for college football. And, you know, it's not even just Arch Manning. It's the guys around Arch Manning, too, uh, that they want to bring in. They brought in offensive tackles last year and Kelvin Banks and Devin Campbell. Uh, They brought in Terrence Brooks on the defensive back end. They brought Javon Tapp, uh, Nitu Umizulu. Uh, on the interior offensive line, Brennan Thompson on the wide receiver core. Malik Murphy is a four-star quarterback that will compete for the starting role next year. And, um, you know, they brought in a lot of of talent that, uh, that I think could be developed, I think could be produced uh, greatly at Texas. So, um, again, a lot of great talent for Texas, and I think 2023 is only the beginning. I really don't have anything else much to say. 
I want to hear from you guys in the comments what you think about Steve Sarkeesian and the Longhorns. I think it's one of those right now, though, where they have all this talent, but maybe they need a little bit of help coaching it up. And I think if they can work on the offensive side, which is what they want to do, they want to have that offensive firepower uh, so that way they can put it on the field and go put points up and win football games that way. That can help you in today's college football. We're in an offensive league. I believe that. But you still got to focus on both sides of the ball, and I think they just got to recruit a little bit more on the defensive side of the football. And I think they have a really good shot at being – a national contender. Maybe call me crazy. I don't care, but I really believe the future of Texas is bright and it's going in an upward direction uh, as far as, you know, Big 12 or eventual SEC uh, championship hopes. <music>